This week on The Wire, new home sales in two year slump, buying intentions hit record high and favorable market for landlords. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So let's get into our top stories this week. So new home sales in two year slump. So after a two year hiatus, new home sales have turned the corner and begun to rise again. And this is according to the Housing Industry Association of Australia. The latest HIA new home sales report shows sales of private detached houses rose by almost 3% across Australia in the three months to November 2019. Relaxed credit rules and interest rate cuts marked the beginning of the rise, which was then boosted by income tax cuts and the promise of the federal government's first home loan deposit guarantees. However, sales were still down by almost 6% compared to a year ago. Now, the biggest rise was in Western Australia, where a 14.5% uplift was recorded, followed by Queensland with an increase of 2% and Victoria up 1.6%. Detached house sales in New South Wales and South Australia declined over this period by half a percent and 2.5% respectively. HIA economist Dewa Hopkins says after a rough couple of years, demand for new houses is finally rising in Western Australia. Population growth is the strongest it's been since 2015, she says. So now for our next story. Buying intentions hit record high. So consumers are planning to spend money on housing, cars, entertainment and travel. And this shows in the latest survey of the Commonwealth Bank Household Spending Intention Survey. CBA Chief Economist Michael Bly says the home buying intention series lifted again and is now at a record high. There are some early signs of a wealth effect from the housing market supporting spending on motor vehicles, albeit from a low level, as well as travel and entertainment. Blyce says the home buying HSI readings mean the pickup in dwelling prices in the second half of 2019 will continue in the first half of 2020 and the residential construction downturn should be approaching the bottom. Past cycle shows that leading indicators like building approvals turn about three months after home buying intentions start to lift, he says. A bottoming in the construction cycle would remove a major growth drag on the economy and also helps retail. Building approvals rose almost 12% in November, which was the strongest growth in total dwelling approvals since February 2019. Now for our final story of the week. Market favourable for landlords. Residential vacancy rates across all states rose slightly in December, but asking rents also grew in most capitals, indicating a positive outlook for landlords in 2020. SQM Research Managing Director Louis Christopher says it's actually quite like we've reached the peak in national rental vacancy rates, with ongoing strong population growth absorbing current surplus rental stock over 2020. Darwin vacancies rose to 3.5%, Brisbane to 2.9% and Perth to 2.5%. Rental markets in Hobart remain tight with vacancy rates at just 0.6% which is the lowest of all capital cities. The probabilities are high that vacancy rates will now peak and gradually fall over 2020, Christopher says. More promisingly, over the last three months, rents rose in most capital cities except Perth and Darwin. Hobart leads with a 7% increase, followed by Sydney up 3%, and Melbourne and Canberra both up 2.7%. Brisbane and Adelaide were also up. The increasing rents in most capital cities could see a move towards a landlord's market in the coming months, Christopher says. That's some good news for landlords there. So guys, that's our top stories for the week. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series. And of course, if you wanna submit a question or if there's a topic that you would like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post above to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action. See ya.